and guys, we are back here in Kenya after almost a month in freezing Canada. I have to say, we're very happy to be back under the Kenyan sun. We really are, and to celebrate that, we're gonna go do something that is probably our favorite thing to do in this country. That's for sure. Let's go on a safari. I am made to be free. Okay, so we just arrived in the town Kuleli. 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 Anyways, so what they do is they actually meet you in this town and then you follow them in since we're driving there. Um, oh, just like that. Um, <laughs> because actually this camp is not on Google Maps. I tried to find it, couldn't find it. So let's follow our guide. That was crazy. Um, we've never seen that ag before. The Boy Show Conservancy has done it again. So it was a deadline. Basically, the lion wandered into another pride's territory, and so the pride killed him. It's kind of sad. And the Aina, well, they had a feast on that lion. Yeah. That's crazy. I've never, I've never seen that before. That's good. Normally happen. We have just arrived at Asila Naboisho camp and we've had a quick look around and I'm very excited to show you something in particular. It looks very nice tents. and I'm just very excited to be in Naboisho Conservancy as well because the best safari of our oh. lives was here. So we're gonna figure out, is it fluke? Is it actually a good conservancy? This could be the best conservancy in the country. Stay so tuned. We'll tell you that at the end, but now let's go see where we're gonna stay for the next two nights, cause it's pretty nice. It's really nice. <laughs> so this camp actually isn't fenced, which is why you see all the animals behind me running. Let's hope nothing's chasing it, cause we're outside our tent. Let's go. At our tent, come see my favorite part. Okay, so this is something we've actually never seen in a tent before. They have an enclosed veranda. Plus, if you wanted to, I'm sure you could take the chair out there. But it's nice because in rainy season, if there's a lot of mosquitoes, you get the fresh air on a veranda without the mosquitoes. And then we come into the main bedroom. Beautiful. We opted to keep all of our tent flaps open because, well, you want the fresh air and it's beautiful. Um, and then into the bathroom. Bathroom! I like that there's lights on the side of the mirror. Pro tip. Um, <laughs> we have a little luggage area and really spacious bathroom as well. Double sink. David is currently standing underneath the shower, which he will show you. Toilet here. So it's not like a closed toilet, but I like it. it looks like there's more room. But this, now this. And here. We have outdoor showers. And over there, there's a little clothesline. So with these showers, they are, what do you call them? Kind of like bucket safari showers. So if you want to use them, you have to tell them in advance and then they can fill up with water. Um, and then I assume you pull this maybe. Hopefully there's nothing in it right now. And you shower under there. So maybe tomorrow afternoon. Oh look, you can get a little thing for your soap. I like it. So as soon as we arrived, they warned us that the animals are actually coming very, very close to the tent, the main lodge and everything. And I believe them because that's our tent. And right here, well, you know what that is. I think it's, it's buffalo. Yeah, it's buffaloes. I know I'm no poop expert, but that's what I think. The sun has set. Let's have a glass of wine. Before supper. Yeah. That sounds good. The, the main lodge is actually very nice, so it is. let's go check it out. You guys are in a tree right now. <laughs> so we just walked out of the tent and I was like, I'm pretty sure that's an elephant back there. And way in the distance, there's a herd of elephants. And perfect timing because for Christmas, David surprised me with a custom made t-shirt that says, any day you see elephants is a good day. And I loved it so much that I'm wearing it and now you can buy it if you want. 
all our merch is available at down below on the merch shelf and also in the description of this video as usual i make everything myself so you know it's a great way to support us plus it looks great so we're actually in the process of kind of redoing it trying to make it not necessarily merch yeah but more its like own thing yeah um so okay don't say too much it's yeah. gonna be pretty cool soon <laughs> And to my right is the Wi-Fi tent. And then this is the main lodge. So we were on our way to the lodge and then we saw a fire. And a fire is much better. So let's go sit by the fire. Those are the bush babies and they're everywhere around the campfire. They're literally my favorite. They look like mini kangaroos with big eyes. So I'm not gonna lie, when David said he was hungry, I was like, I'm kinda sad to leave my fire. Like, I don't know how I feel about that. Came, sat at our table, and we realized our table is right in front of the indoor fireplace. Best of both worlds. So just came back from supper, delicious food. I loved everything, Very especially good. the crumble at the end. That was delicious. It tasted like home. Yeah, <laughs> it tasted like it just, it had my, a home feel. my mother's recipe. Yeah, yeah. Anyways. It was a little better too. <laughs> Otherwise, we met some awesome subscribers, super yeah. cool people. They gave us a bunch of suggestions about restaurants in Nairobi that we're gonna make sure to try. Tracy rolled everything I down, did. including food to eat at I those did. restaurants <laughs> <laughs> so stay tuned for that um and then we were just like chit-chatting before we left and they're like oh yeah like where it's on fence they're like we saw or they saw camp salt anyways some point today there was like a lioness and her cub by tent number three and i'm like <laughs> this is tent number, tent number three, three. <laughs> <laughs> so i was like okay Okay, there's a lion, that's cool, but I'm also, oh, there's a lion. We'll <laughs> make sure to zip up the tent. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna get some rest, a quick shower, because tomorrow, well, it's a safari, that means early morning. But like early, early morning. Early, early morning. So Compared to normal. So see you guys at 5.30 a.m. Yes. Guys, this place is alive. We got waking up like at like 12. Okay, I haven't gone to sleep. <laughs> no? Okay. Oh, no. I was sleeping. And then like buffaloes and elephants. So what we did is we left the flaps of our tent up like we said. And like the buffaloes are literally like three feet from our tent. They were rubbing against the tent on my side at some point. And at some point I looked over because I saw a buffalo scatter. And I was like, oh, like it must just be a bigger buffalo. It's a freaking elephant. As an I elephant. I had to wake you up. Yeah. She did. Like we couldn't really film because I didn't want to shine the light on them okay. when they were like super close, but there's still like a ton of buffaloes there's on like my a right. Herd of buffaloes yeah. all around and us. there's still an elephant on Tracy's side, but like we can't really see it anymore. But like this is crazy. How am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> okay, we gotta go to bed now. I can't sleep. <laughs> Remember when they said they spotted a lion beside our tent? Guess what? We woke up to at five o'clock and I like I know you hear lions in the distance, I know it carries. But it was, it was legit right there. outside our tent. Yeah. Growling. Tracy was a little scared. I was a little worried. <laughs> we're waiting for uh, <clears throat> for one of the Maasai to come pick us up because we're still not sure if it's safe to walk outside. Because, like, to like, the point that like I don't even want to go outside the flap. Yeah. I, I heard it like two minutes ago. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. It, it really is cool. I'm just <laughs> not used to it. <laughs> okay, let's go on a safari. <laughs> You hear lamb roaring? Yeah. yeah, they woke us up at 5 a.m. Yes. <laughs> Just found the lion that kept us up at night.
So this here is the biggest pride in the Boy Show Conservancy. They are over 20 different lions and they're really ruling the area. And because it's really early in the morning, they're super active. Like we've never seen lion like running around, trying to climb trees, playing with each other. Like it's really, really cool. Tell me, Rafa, are those zebras or zebras? Zebras. Ah, <laughs> I'm just joking. I know there are horses in pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some breakfast. Earlier when we were following that male lion and a few times he kind of walked really, really close behind the truck, he actually sprayed it twice. <laughs> So when I was back home for Christmas, my mom has a cricket machine and she's pretty into that and I love it. So look what I have on my new safari mug. It's an elephant. The sun is up. It's time to strip down even the pants. <gasps> Much better. <laughs> back in the truck. find a wild motorbike, other Chinese called gazelle. a Chinese gazelle. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. See you this afternoon. Yeah, have a lovely lunch. Thank you. So a very successful safari. What I love about Naboy Show is that it's a conservancy and there is a massive difference between a conservancy and a national reserve because the national reserve is managed by uh, Kenya Wildlife Services. There's a lot of rules and everything. You can't really go off road. And because it's a national reserve, there's always a ton of different uh, safari trucks everywhere. But when you're in a conservancy, you can actually get much closer to the animals. They do it in a very like respectful way and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, and normally there's not as many tourists and everything. So it, I think it's much better. Me too. I like it. So I just finished working a little bit. Now I'm gonna go meet Tracy once again. She's by the pool. Uh, we're gonna have lunch. I think it's buffet style. Is there gonna be any chapatis? I don't know. After like being in Canada for a month, I, I didn't have chapatis in four, five weeks. That would be great. My hosts are not up, but it, it would be nice. Oh, the pool section is a cool spot. Whoa. So lunch was great. Oh sadly, my goodness, lunch uh, was fantastic. Yeah. But sadly, it starts uh, starting to rain. If you look behind us, <laughs> it's really dark. Doesn't look that great. Well, I think we're gonna go on a safari under the rain. But first, maybe a nap? Yeah, no, I don't nap. Did you hear the thunder back there? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty loud. I'm sure they hear it too. So right now in Kenya, it's supposed to be summer, but somehow we got the only day since weeks where it's raining and it's kind of freezing too. <laughs> just like that. Tracy just woke up from a little nap. You know when you have a nap <laughs> so good that you wake up and you are completely disoriented? She looked at me, she didn't know where she was. I'm very confused right now. <sighs> now, let's go on a safari. The goal right now is to see elephants and hopefully not getting like rained on too much. Meh. We'll see. Wake up. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you very much. So it's tea and coffee time before this far drive. But because I do not drink coffee or tea, much better than coffee. Not sure what's going on, but Raf looks like he's talking to somebody on the radio and he's driving like he's on a mission. <laughs> so, we'll see. Actually, the cheetahs that we just saw killed the impala here, and then the lion came and stole it from them. So now we're just watching the lion eat their kill. It's raining quite a bit. Everyone's wearing a poncho. Windshield is back up. The flaps are still on because we're true adventurers, but the animals are still out, so we're still out. And we finally found the elephants! Everything is wet, we're a little cold, but I think there's a nice glass of wine and a beautiful fireplace waiting for us at the main lodge. So you know what? Life's good. Thank you, have a good night. How's the road? <laughs> so now that we're all dried off, warmed up, yep. got some food in the belly. And clean. Time to go to sleep. And start again tomorrow. Let's see if we can sleep and not have yeah. lions <laughs> and elephants. Yeah. I was tired actually today because of that. Didn't sleep enough. Yeah, yeah. I Let, had a mean nap. Yeah. Let, let's try again. Good morning, let's do this again. Tracy sent the light signal, somebody's coming to pick us up. is done eating it's time for subjects to start eating We're on the hunt for leopards and we were looking at the tree and our guide spotted something hanging and it's like remains of an old baby in the pallet. So there was a leopard there at some point. Breakfast time. You gotta give me a full review. Exceeds all expectations. Yeah, chapatis are superior to everything. Yeah, other, <laughs> other than other than lions in the morning, 6 a.m. lions, chapatis are a close second. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like that's the first time that we've ever seen a baboon eating meat. To be honest, I didn't even know that they did. That's kind of cool. That was my first time seeing a bat eared fox. Yeah, it was. Thanks, Raf. So that was another great game drive. So I have to say, I think the boy show is superior. It is an amazing conservancy because once again, we saw just so much. Yeah, I think if you're gonna do one spot in the Mara, definitely pick something in the boy show. Yeah, for was, sure. But I would recommend. Second time and yeah. both time, we loved it. Yeah. Otherwise, a very good camp. Uh, my only downside, the, the mattress wasn't that great. That's it. It's two mattresses a put hard. together a little hard. And that's just me nitpicking because everything else was oh, yeah. great, the food is good, staff is great. Raphael, uh, shout out yeah. to Raphael. Shout out to Raphael. Guide. Super good guy. Great sense of humor. Very <laughs> funny guy. So that was great. Otherwise, we paid $220 US per person, yeah. and that included everything, even like wine, beers, and everything. Yes. Overall, another great adventure in the Masamara. Very happy to be back in Kenya. Great. More way to come. To start our way back in Kenya. Yeah. And otherwise, well, see you in the next one.